Pandora's Eyes has just been published by Humanoids for the first time in color. It's described as a stimulating, edge-of-your-seat thriller about a beautiful young woman prone to uncontrollable fits of rage who is kidnapped and unknowingly involved in a fight between cops and mobsters. And here's what I think about it. Hi YouTube, it's the Frog Queen here, and uh, before I get into this full-on review, I want to let you know that this graphic novel is intended for an adult audience, and thus, so is this review. Also, if you get upset about spoilers, um, there are some minor ones in this review, so proceed with caution. So first I'll give you a little background information. Pandora's Eyes is written by the late Oscar-nominated Italian screenwriter and novelist Vincenzo Cerami. Um, he's the man who wrote uh, the movie Life is Beautiful. Um, so this is a stark departure from that story. Uh, this story is paired with the beautiful and timeless illustrations of Milo Manara. Um, Milo Manara <laughs> is most well known for his erotic graphic novels. So that means that most of what he works on, even when they aren't intended to be erotic works, tend to be somewhat lewd, somewhat in the vein of um, eroticism. It's like he just can't stop. <laughs> I personally have been such a big fan of Milo Manera that I branded myself permanently with his signature, which looks backwards admittedly because I'm using my webcam to film this with and not a proper um, cam recording camera. Anyway, so now before you go and get your jockeys or panties or various unders in a twist, um, please allow me to assure you that this graphic novel very much sits in the spirit with most other of Manara's work without um, actually portraying any sex. There is attempted rape, there is partial nudity, um, and as with a lot of books that Manara illustrates, you get a story, but not a lot of deep character development and audience participation. That is to say, um, you're not emotionally swayed by the characters and their plight. It's just a story, you're kind of watching it all happen. It's entertaining, but it's not emotionally involving. Our story begins with a lovely Pandora being cleared of her mental illness by a psychologist to the extreme distress of her family, well, mostly her mother. Yes, our main character's name is Pandora, from the title, as you can tell, and as she states in the story, Pandora liked the box. <laughs> Which kind of made me laugh, because like, get it, like, vagina, box, you get it. It's not long before she is kidnapped by thugs that are supposedly sent by the mysterious Castex, which we soon find out is not only Pandora's birth father, but a notorious gangster in Turkey. And one of the things that I really like, which seem a little different from Manera to me in this book, um, are the flashback scenes. Uh, they are a little hazy, less detailed, um, just how your memory kind of works, where you can focus in on the subject, the person that you're trying to remember, but perhaps not all of the details of the backgrounds, perhaps not everything that was going on around you at the time. It's difficult for me to figure out if much of the subtlety and care with the script was actually lost in translation. Um, as with, as this would have originally been written in Italian, I find myself wondering what the original script looked like. Um, I often think that where translated works can feel so emotionally empty, that a lot of the subtlety is taken away and lost in translation completely. So my only real big criticism is about the Pandora character. Um, she's not very realistic, she reacts to everything like she's basically a child. Um, she's definitely doesn't seem like an adult woman. Um, I mean, she was, you know, being cared for by, you know, by a psychologist because apparently she had fits of rage, which never gets explained by the way. I think that there was supposed to be a sequel um, to this story that just didn't come out. Um, but yeah, she's got fits of rage, and you can kind of think like maybe her fits of rage are due to the fact that her father is a violent killer. Um, but even when you finally meet her father, yeah, he's a mobster, he's a criminal, but he doesn't seem quite to be unfeeling. So it's very, it's very confusing. Anyways, Pandora herself, Unfortunately, like many characters that are female in a lot of um, the works that Monero puts out, more childlike, not really a substantial character. 
Now, even some of his his, his personally written um, erotic novels have stronger female characters, even though the stories um, exist to basically be fantasies, you know, for people to look at and read and walk off to or whatever. But uh, yeah, Pandora's pretty weak. Lame. And then when she finally returns home and uh, her father, her biological father, brings her back to her mother, um, he decides to slip out the door without saying much of anything at all. And I admit I find this part really disturbing. Um, This isn't like an age play fetish thing. I don't know what this is, but the fact that this is an adult daughter who had no real concern about meeting her biological father for the first time and just accepts everything as fact, is now suddenly calling this strange man daddy. Not father or dad, but daddy. Don't go, daddy. It's disturbing. She just met him. She doesn't know him from a hole in the wall. And uh, yeah, I- I'm going to admit I-, I find this part very disturbing. I wonder if in like the Italian translation, um, what she had actually said if it translated into like a a childish endearing term like that but anyway pandora's eyes is currently available from humanoids and at a comic book shop near you you will also be able to order it on amazon in a couple weeks amazon always gets graphic novels comic books um a few weeks later because of diamond diamond makes it so that comic book shops get everything early so whenever you look at a release date that is only relevant to a comic book shop not to a regular bookstore thanks for watching and as usual, please like and share. Um, this is a fairly new channel for me, so I'm just trying to get the message out there, the word out there about what I'm doing. And if you would like to know more about Humanoids books, I do plan to review a lot more Humanoids in the future. Foghorn. <laughs> but until next time, uh, you know, read something good.